U.S. Air, an airline coming under fire and going under the microscope. Air has by far the worst fatality record of any commercial airline since 1989. And since U.S. Air is also losing millions of dollars by the month, some passengers are no doubt wondering about their safety. I, I can't say I am a little... I wish I wasn't flying you up there. <laughs> Every day there's automobile accidents and flying's still much safer. You take the chance. The director of Northwestern University's Transportation Center says U.S. Air's grim statistics are just that, statistics, and have no bearing on safety. They were all very different crashes, and uh, that, I think, suggests that it's not something uh, that can be laid at the doorstep of U.S. Air. Uh, I think U.S. Air is a very safe airline, and I would encourage people not to abandon U.S. Air for reasons of con safety concerns. U.S. Air lost $200 million in the first quarter of this year, with a $393 million loss last year. But longtime commercial pilot Michael McIntyre says U.S. Air's financial troubles don't necessarily mean other problems as well. I have U.S. Air pilots in my cockpit all the time uh, as they go back and forth to work. I hear no stories from U.S. Air pilots regarding poor maintenance or cutting of corners. But I used to hear it all the time from a couple airlines that used to ride with us that were on their way out of business. That is not the case here. What will be the case, the official cause of this disaster won't be determined for at least another year. Then those in the airline industry hope to learn from this investigation to help prevent such a tragedy from happening again. Mary Gannon, WGN News. Well, one FAA official said... The crash that left 132 people dead has left U.S. Air in a defensive and vulnerable position. While the airline looks for answers to the latest crash... It is also forced to deal with other questions about the safety of the airline in general. CNN's Anthony Collings reports. With U.S. Air having five fatal crashes in the past five years, the U.S. government is putting that airline under scrutiny. U.S. Air says the five accidents have nothing in common. They are totally dissimilar. Uh, there does not appear to be any thread uh, that ties them together. So while they are each, in their own sense, are very tragic, we do not believe that, that there is a thread of, uh, of an issue here with respect to, to safety. We've not seen anything that would, that would tend to link those uh, accidents for a, a systemic problem at U.S. Air. Air traffic controllers were blamed for a 1991 crash at Los Angeles Airport, and it's too soon to say the cause of Thursday's crash. But of the remaining three U.S. Air crashes, some experts do see a trend, human error. A pilot's misjudgments were blamed for a 1989 accident at LaGuardia Airport in New York when a U.S. Air jet skidded off a runway. Again, at LaGuardia in 1992, human error was officially cited as a cause of a U.S. Air crash in a snowstorm. Although wind shear is believed a major factor in a U.S. Air crash last July near Charlotte Airport, one expert thinks the Charlotte crash and the two LaGuardia crashes could all be due to human error. It's clear that there is a statistically significant conclusion that uh, U.S. Air is having more crashes than they would have if crashes were randomly distributed. U.S. Air has had almost four years of heavy financial losses, but experts say that has not led the company to cut back on safety. U.S. Air is a high maintenance cost company. And actually, they've got much higher maintenance costs, and they could cut back quite a bit, and they still would be uh, above the maintenance cost of the other airlines. While U.S. Air is under scrutiny, government investigators say they're also taking a hard look at the Boeing 737-300 that was involved in Thursday's crash. The same type of airplane was involved in a similar crash in 1991, but by a different airline, United. Anthony Collings, CNN, Washington. And just ahead on World News, a dramatic development in our second major story tonight. Prosecutors reach a major...